Friends, you can be someone's hero. If you will sing and pray hymns, and someday when somebody cries out from a house, a spiritual house, a physical house, how can I be saved? Save me. You will be there to save them. And maybe you're the one who's crying out right now, save me, how can I be saved? I tell you, you can be saved. You can be saved. You and you and you. We all can be saved by the power of Jesus Christ if you will let it be released in you today. Will it take an earthquake for you to know that you need to be saved? I don't know. But if God sees it's going to need an earthquake, he'll send an earthquake. And then there's going to be parties. And there's going to be balloons and smiley faces. And there's going to be hugs. And there's going to be tears. Because the entire household is rejoicing that the children have come back home. Maybe you're here today saying, what can I do with this mess in my life? Maybe you're not coming to Mother's Day with this like overwhelming sense of joy. Maybe you're coming to Mother's Day today saying, boy, what am I going to do? There's a way out of the mess. Just ask, how can I be saved? And God will send someone to rescue you. He already has in the name of Jesus Christ to release you from your confinement to open the shackles that bind you. There are people who keep singing hymns and offering prayers even though the world dismisses us with derisive laughter. We keep praying, praying and singing because that's what we do for our fellow prisoners. And that can be your future too. That can be your future where the whole household rejoices if we will come to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. And then one day you'll say, this party's for me? It is. Because we are all going to rejoice with you, as we're all going to rejoice with Logan. That we've come home to the place where trees line the riverbed which bears life-giving water. I think it's a real act of courage today. I'm dead serious about this. I think it's a real act of courage today to bring a child to be baptized. You know, your generation, many have, for now, they'll come back, but for now they've abandoned the church. But the church hasn't abandoned them, and we need people just like you and others of you out there who will keep bringing children to the Lord. It's an act of courage to bring them to receive a sign that this child is claimed as God's own forever. And that's why the whole household rejoices. That's why we devote an entire worship service to celebrate this sacrament, because it's that important. So, now if on your way out, you hear some, like, glasses clinking in the distance. Why, maybe there's a saint who is gathered around the table with the angels. And maybe Grandpa Ron, great-grandpa Ron Bimmel, one of my mentors, maybe great-grandpa Ron has been asked to give the toast. See that boy? He's my brother. Happy Mother's Day. Amen.
receive God's blessing and promise. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. So God says, you shall put my name on my people and I will bless them. So friends, accept God's love. Be confident in your faith and hope and carry the light of the cross and the promise of baptism to a crying out world today. Amen. Amen.